DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Mic check one, two, one, two. What's good? It's DJ Bandana Black. And honestly, I'm just going to say up front, right out the door, that I did not want to make this video about Kanye West because I was kind of hoping that I was misunderstanding what he was saying. I was hoping it was like some bigger scheme of things and it was all going to make sense. So I was waiting for other interviews and everything, you know what I'm saying, to, to put out the full information on Kanye West. And I'm sorry to say that Mr. K -K -K, please say the three Ks, Kanye West, a.k.a. Kanye Trump, doesn't like black people, doesn't care about black people. Kanye West has lost his damn mind pretty much. Listen, so I know by now you've all heard about the remarks and everything that's going on with Kanye West, and we're going to talk about it real quick. I'm not going to make a long video, drag this out, and just give my opinion on it. Oh, matter of fact, let me add this disclaimer, too, because this video gets shared on a lot of other news outlets, uh, radio station websites, uh, magazine websites, different stuff like that. So quick disclaimer, uh, the views and opinions of DJ Bandana Black is that they're of DJ Bandana Black alone, blah, blah, blah. Basically, insert all them other words so you can't sue me or sue them because it's just my views and opinions. So we got that there. Anyways, so I don't know where to start with this Kanye West thing. So we'll start at the part that kind of caught my attention. So what Kanye West basically was saying how he loves Donald Trump, he had the uh, Make America Great Again hat, which I don't know how you make something great again for us when it was never great for us in the first place. But anyways, the thing that caught my attention with Kanye West is kind of when he took a shot at Obama. And after watching the other interviews like that, I understand why he took the shot at Obama, but who is he to be taking shots at Obama? Basically what he was saying, and I don't know it word for word, he basically said... Uh, Obama was in office for eight years and nothing changed in Chicago. So that's basically what he's saying. So Kanye West, who we don't hear of, hear from until he has an album dropping, anything like that, he does basically nothing for us, said that Obama was in office for eight years and nothing changed in Chicago, which might be true. But Kanye West has been a millionaire in his rap game for more than eight years. He's from Chicago. And nothing changed. So how are you talking about Obama didn't do anything from Chicago? You from the slums of Chicago. Remember the whole South Side, South Side, all that, Mr. Kanye West? So what happened to, to, to what you're supposed to do for the for the hood like that? I'm pretty sure he does donate money and do I'm not gonna say pretty sure. I hope that he does. So that can prove me wrong on that point. But how you say Obama was in office for eight years and nothing changed in Chicago when you've been in office millionaire in a rap office for more than eight years and nothing changed in Chicago. And then this whole thing with Donald Trump. The Make America Great hat again. You can't make... Kanye West, I know that you got your little contacts in. You done dyed your hair blonde. You, I mean, you're around the Kardashians. You're, I'm not going to say anything bad about your family, anything like that, but you're married to a Kardashian. We, we, Y'all know what I'm saying. What's understood doesn't have to be explained. So basically, you've alienated yourself from the black community, but at the end of the day, bro, you're black too. So when you support a guy who doesn't support... Us, he doesn't really support you. It's only because you're popular. If he was just a regular person saying that, he wouldn't care. So I don't understand how you support someone saying, make America great again, when America has never been great for us. It's never been. It's actually getting pretty bad right now with cop killers and everything else like that. So when you align yourself with that, I mean, you, you're just all out of touch, bro. Like Kanye West, and honestly, I think he's on some good whatever he's on. Whatever he's on, I need to have for one of them joints. Like, because Kanye Way is out his rocker. And we got to stop making excuses for this man, too, because I know I was watching, uh, shout out to Charlemagne, too. He's a, a great interviewer. He's definitely uh, doing a lot of good things, got the book and all that. So, I mean, I definitely salute to Charlemagne. But the thing that I didn't like, um, even so much when Charlemagne was explaining, when Ebro was explaining, when, um, was it Ebro, uh, Ebro, uh, and, and, and T.I., when T.I. was explaining the stuff with Kanye West, he was basically saying, well, um, you really can't judge him because he just doesn't know. He doesn't know things are going on in the black community. He doesn't know the things that Trump stands for. And when he said this, this is really what he meant. I know he was thinking about it. Kanye is a grown ass man. We got to stop making excuses for people. He's a grown ass man. If anybody has the resources to know what's really going on, it would be Kanye West. He has the money and the time and everything to find out what's going on in the inner city and to find out that Trump doesn't support us and the different things that's going on. So this is my question to y'all. If y'all will make this use for Kanye West saying, okay, he said this, but he meant that, 
if we're being fair, because he said we need to be fair in, in love and everything like that. So if we're being fair with love, shouldn't that apply to Donald Trump, too? So when Donald Trump says he wants uh, to build a wall and to kick out all foreigners and he says all the stuff that can be perceived as racist, shouldn't we give him love and compassion and say, well, really what he meant was he wanted to make America safe and he didn't want the drugs in the country and all that. He's not being racist when he says put up a travel ban. What he really meant is he just want things to be safe for us. So if we give Kanye West the same pass. I'm not even going to say we. You just say we because we are black. Nah, F that. Because it's not me. I'm not giving him no pass. So for y'all to give Kanye a pass, y'all got to give Trump a pass too. If we use him by the, the principles of Kanye West and, and love and everything else like that. And I thought it was bad when I watched the Charlemagne interview. It was a great interview, but it was weird as hell. Like, they was walking like in a big open field. Everything was white in the building. Kanye West was like just kept part. He really seemed like he was zoned out. I think something is, I'm going to explain to you after I say this what I think is wrong with Kanye West. But after I watched the Charlamagne interview, I was like, you know what? I, I still don't want to do the video because he, he is one of the people who, 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 who's been successful from the inner city, from the hood, whatever that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give Kanye a chance. But then when I seen the TMZ interview, I'm like, yo, this dude is really nuts. So then he goes on to say 400 years of slavery was a choice. 400 years of slavery was a choice is what Kanye West said. Like, it, it was a choice of slavery. So people wanted to be slaves? So even by your own account, Mr. Kanye West, Mr. K -K -K, please say the three Ks, Kanye West, a.k.a. Kanye Trump, if 400 years of slavery was a choice, then why are you all on the interviews crying and stuff that Disney wouldn't loan you $500 million to do your, your clothing thing and Mark Zuckerberg or whatever it was wouldn't loan you money or do support for you to do your high-end fashion and why you was crying that Nike wouldn't let you do everything else like that and wouldn't, wouldn't set you free and, and, and all that other stuff, like... Wouldn't that pretty much be the the, the, the same thing? Like, it, it seems like a choice. You chose to go to Nike. You chose to get into fashion. You chose to get into high-end fashion and not be able to really uh, produce the amount of money or exposure for it that you thought it was going to have. So what the hell is wrong with you? Like, this is the thing I don't respect about how people making excuses for Kanye West. Prior to Kanye West um, saying that he had an album or something coming out, where was he at? We haven't heard anything since he was crying and running off stages like baby. We gave Kanye West too many passes. When he was when y'all spending a hundred dollars on tickets to go to these concerts and he was on stage like, I don't like the way that that light flickered on stage during my set and just ran off crying. I'm not saying literally, but he was doing stuff like that. Basically just crying about just basic stuff like you're rich. People people work nine to five to spend a hundred dollars to go to your concert to do to, to support you, and you complain that giving people half a show, complaining and walk away. Like I don't get it, Kanye West. And there's another thing too. Like keep saying um, you don't want to make it a black thing. It's a human. thing. It is a black thing because we we're, we're getting in America. It's not it's not fair for us. It is a racial thing. It is racism and things going on. Trump doesn't support us. Trump isn't the the. The, the the great friend that you think that he think he is Trump realistically can care less about you Kanye honestly for real for real so I don't I don't get how you just so detached from black people when they help support you so like I haven't really been the biggest Kanye fan as of uh, lately but back when he was Kanye to the back with the uh, late registration and college dropout and all that the the real Kanye we were supporting that so the Kanye that he is now he wouldn't be that without the inner city black people really supporting his music and the whole Rockefeller and Dame Dash and I'm giving him a shot. Other black people who gave him a shot to become to, to become who he is today was like that. And then he started making money and he detached himself, even with the Yeezys. So the majority of his money is coming from these Yeezys. Kanye, who do you think you're getting his money from? So like he, he wants to make the money from the black community and then detach himself and just make it seem like he's he, he don't got nothing to do with that. He want to do high end fashion, a bunch of stuff that we can't afford. But who you think is paying for these? Who, who you think made these Yeezy shoes cool? I didn't see Taylor Swift or Justin Timberlake or any of the the high profile uh, white artists, whatever like that, rocking Yeezy saying this is cool. No, it was the hip hop community. The same people who you didn't help, who you basically shitting on now and offending on now. Those same people made you rich, bro. Them some people gave gave you gave money that they worked for so you can go take that money and invest it in some stuff that's not for us. We don't want them $500 sweaters with the tears and stuff in them. I got an old sweater that I used to work out in. I got tears and stuff in it. It looked exactly like your clothing line. So why would I spend $500, $500 on, a, on a shirt or something like that? But I don't know what, like, Kanye is bugging. I think what happened, though, honestly, 
And I'm going to just keep it G. This is my opinion. And this is not an excuse. Like I said, Kanye is a grown-ass man. This is not an excuse. But this is the reason why I think uh, Kanye is doing this. Kanye is kind of like the the person who doesn't have any family. Say you grew up and you're the only child and your, 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 your family just totally disowned you. And then you kind of, you marry a, a, a rich white family and then you start taking on their morals and their beliefs. And after a while, when you're a kid, like Kanye is like a kid that's, that's like that. You start thinking that you're you're white, so you don't really remember the struggles and everything that you went through. And I'm not saying this is a race thing as far as black or white. I'm just saying as far as once you make that much money and you detach yourself from the inner city and black people and stuff like that too, he has no idea what's going on in, in, in the world with the struggles and everything that we, we're going through. He's totally just like clueless to it. But you're black too, bro. If she divorced you today, and like you said, Julian, that she divorced you today, and you got to go back to the south side of Chicago like that, you're white, bro. I mean, you're black, bro. You, you're going to have the same struggles. You're going to go through the same things that we, we went through. Even the stuff that you used to rap about. Um, some of the struggles that we went through. And so I think you've just been going for too long. You've been around. The, what Kanye West needs, he needs that one cousin who going to invite him over for like, yo, come over for uh, for, for the game, bro. And they're going to have all the other family there. And they're going to say, Kanye, what the hell is wrong with you, bro? You, you, bro, what is wrong with you? Like, come home. He just need that cousin to call him and say, come on, maybe Jay-Z, somebody. Like, he been crying about Jay-Z, talking about he 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 was mad because he he said he gave him this money. You know, the money came from Rock Nation, but nobody wanted to give you money. He vouched for you. End of the story, you wouldn't have any of it. You wouldn't have had that money if it wasn't for Jay. You wouldn't have been on if it wasn't for Dame. And you wouldn't be rich if it wasn't really for the black community. So you supporting Trump or you standing behind him and, and saying you don't really know politics, you don't know what's going on, everything like that. It's not an excuse, bro. Kanye West, a.k.a. Kanye Trump, um, you've been denied, bro. I'm going to pray for you. I hope things work out for you, but you out your damn mind. Anybody else that supports him and, and supports that, like y'all bucking too. Anyways, it's DJ Bandana Black. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that little red button at the bottom right there. Click that subscribe button. And if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, like that, make sure you share that for me. I'm trying to get my viewers up. Got a lot more videos and stuff coming up too. Also, make sure if you got an iPhone, Go to the podcast app, search hashtag the blackout podcast, DJ Bandana Black. Subscribe to the podcast. Got a bunch of new episodes coming out. Uh, make sure you subscribe to that. Whether you got an iPhone, Android, it's on both of them. Just hashtag the blackout, DJ Bandana Black. Subscribe that to me. Remember, life is what you make it, so make it DJ Bandana Black. I'm DJ out. Ban Ban Bandana.